All right, can you guys hear me? All right, all right, cool, cool. So everybody can hear me perfect, perfect. Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna just ask, can anybody not see the screen? If you can't see the screen, just respond and I'll, I'll try to help you out. But if no response, then that means everybody can't see the screen. Okay, cool, cool. So we're good. We're good to go. All right, all right. So back to where we, we started. Um, you can calculate the amount of money you made based on the loss size and the amount of pips caught. Okay, so. Um, okay, so let's say you were trading a pair called UCAD, right? And you're using a loss size of a penny. You know, going back to the example, and you, you know, you lost 100 pips, meaning the market went 100 pips away from your favor. And you wanted to know, okay, how much money did I just lose? Well, you can do that simply by multiplying your loss size by the amount of pips, you know, that you lost. And that'll actually give you $100. But if you move the decimal over once, you'll be fine. Okay, so um, same thing as, you know, same thing as when we were calculating the pips. You know, if, you, if you're dealing with decimals, you always want to move that that final uh you always want to move the final result uh decimals over one to the left now if you're dealing with whole numbers we don't we don't have to do none of that so that's kind of how i calculate it there's an easier way you guys just feel free to let me know but you know so far this is how i calculate you know it's pretty uh, second nature to me by now but you know i'm always down to learn something new as well so <clears throat> you have another pair let's say Aussie USD, where you know your loss size is what three cents, okay, and you gain 400, 400 pips in the market. You're like, man, that's a lot. Okay, how much money is that? So you can simply gauge the amount of money that is by just multiplying the loss size by the amount of pips, so 0 0.03 times 400, and that'll actually give you 120, or actually, that'll actually give you 1200, but you you move that decimal over to the left one, they'll give you 120. And then so you'll go on to UJ. Let's say the loss size was, you know, five cents. And you caught 20 pips. Simply multiply 0 0.05 times 20, that'll give you 10. And on to EU, 0 0.08, you caught 15 pips. Same thing, multiply that together and they'll give you 12. And so now you have GU. Let's say you, you know your loss size was five, was five dollars. You, you, you know you're a big head honcho. And you know you went with the five dollar loss size, <clears throat> and you caught a hundred pips. Five times a hundred that gives you five hundred, right? And so that's the amount of money you made. And so let's say you have another pair of EA. The loss size is three dollar loss size, and you caught fifty pips. Well, three times fifty gives you one fifty, and bam. So let's say you made all these trades within one week. All you have to do is just add up the numbers at the end, and then that'll give you, you know, your your final result in terms of how much money you made for that week. And so, to be honest, guys, I really would not focus too much on these dollar values because I promise you. Like going back to the whole psychological thing, if you're focusing on dollars, that can really get to you. I promise you. You make trades that you usually shouldn't make and you stay in trades that you usually should get out of longer. I feel like you stay in trades that you usually get out longer if you uh, are actually focusing on like dollar values and stuff. So, you know, I highly. Uh, recommend that you guys just focus on pips you know don't don't focus too much on how much money you made probably until at the end of the week you know once you're done with you know trading but you know while you're making trades and you know during the week and you're looking at oh i lost this much money instead of i lost this much pips you know it can really really um play play with your mind 
And so that's kind of that's just going back to the whole psychological aspect of things, you know, because this is all like I'm telling you guys, once you guys start making these trades, you'll realize, you know, you you actually you'll you'll get to uh, realize more about yourself, you know how 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 greedy humans can be at times. And you know, once you take a couple of losses, you'll be able to understand that. All right, all right. Well, you know, now that's not it's not a game anymore. You got to, You know, this, this is either you do it or you don't you lose money or you make money. So, you know. I try to focus on just pips, guys, if I was you guys. Even me, myself, I sometimes have trouble focusing on, on just pips. But at the end of the day, that's really all that matters is just these pips. Because if you focus on these dollar, dollar uh, values, then, you know, you're usually going to end up making trades or staying in trades that you shouldn't be staying in. So um, that's just my my advice to you guys as well. All right, guys. So I hope everybody has their uh, phone next to them. Uh, Steve, I think you're using your cell phone, so this might be a little tricky. I don't. I do believe uh, Zoom allows you to log out of the Zoom platform and kind of use other apps while you're using the, the platform Zoom. So, um, because what we're gonna talk about is just MetaTrader Four platform on your cell phone. We're gonna go over how to use it on your cell phone. We're just gonna go over like the basic features, okay? And so, for a lot of you guys who just downloaded uh, the MetaTrader 4 ordeal, you probably will notice that if you count the amount of pairs you have, you'll probably recognize that you don't have a lot of pairs listed in the quote section. And so the quote section is pretty much you know where you can select a pair that you want to trade and this this uh, icon at the top right is um excuse me guys it's a, it's where you can go to in order to add more pairs so this is you know pretty much uh, uh the set the the mobile uh, application of metatrader for and then i'll go over the laptop application of metatrader for you know, once we uh, begin, but I'm gonna let everybody uh, get their phones out and um, just give me a confirmation when you guys have this app open already. All right, so we just, I just need one more response. Let's see. Okay, okay, cool, cool, yeah. Yes, D, so yeah, be careful, big dog. Uh, I know you, you might be driving, but but um yeah so cool cool so everybody for the most part has it open beautiful i hope you guys um can can follow me so what i want you guys to do is is go to the top first you want to go to the quote section so at the bottom left you see that the quote section is highlighted so if you see it on your phone just click that bottom left icon to take you to the quote section and so after you're taken there you want to click that plus sign at the top right and so once you see that plus sign at the top right you'll then be able to add all of the pairs simply just you know by clicking each and every pair one by one so you know you're not limited to only a certain amount of pairs you now have all the pairs all the commodities you know certain stocks i believe you know are able to show but now you know you'll see depending on the broker you you're linked to will kind of determine, you know, what you see because I think um, I think you're limited in, in that regard, you know, the, depending on the broker. So, so you know, uh, go ahead and, you know, just add those, those pairs uh, on there, you know, so you guys can start playing around and, and start trading without a broker. Now, also, in this lesson, hopefully I can get to it. We got about, I want to say we got about 20 – Actually, we got about 13 more minutes left. 
But uh, I want to get to, you know, showing you guys how to link your broker, your brokerage account to, to, uh, to your MetaTrader 4 platform. Um, so yeah, so this is like the quote section. This is where you can view all the pairs. You can view whether or not they're bullish or bearish. So as you see these different colors, um, blue means that they're, they're bullish. And you know, bullish is just a, uh, a term that means that the market is going up. And so whenever you hear somebody say, yeah, this is a bullish pair or a bullish pattern, that means that that market or that certain, that particular pair is going in the upward trend. Now, if somebody says that's a bearish uh, pair or it's in a bearish market, that means that that pair is dropping and that is going downwards. And so red means bearish and blue means bullish for the most part. And so this is pretty much in a, in a frozen image. This is pretty much what's going on. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's move on. Before I move on, though, does anybody have any questions i mean from what i covered with with i know this was a lot you know what i'm saying and i'll i'll try to you know if we have more time i'll go over this more in detail but um does anybody have any questions over pips over you know um the psychological aspect of things over loss sizes does anybody have any questions all right all right cool cool Man, I must be doing a awesome job of explaining because, you know, so far, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. So far, you know, no questions. So, um, cool, cool. So let's go to the next slide. All right. So if you look at the bottom of your screen again, you'll see another icon that's called chart, and you can just click that that chart just to see like a pair. And it could be a random pair, but this is really where you will look at a pair if you want to evaluate it. Now, one thing I really wouldn't recommend is, you know, I would, I really wouldn't recommend trading like using technical analysis on your cell phone. On, I feel like, I feel like you more at a disadvantage because, you know, I don't really think that the precision points on cell phones are really like up to date like that. I mean. Sometimes my MetaTrader 4 app kind of fidgets when I try to draw my trend lines. And it's just, I don't know, it's just not there yet. Like, it, you, especially if you're only using one hand. And I mean, and, and usually I hope you guys aren't driving while making trades too, because, you know, as you guys go on, this might become more serious to you guys. And, you know, that's that's one that's another reason I wouldn't recommend using a phone to make trades. Usually just a view trades, if anything. But you know, or a quick scout. If you especially if you're doing naked trading, I don't think it's a bad idea to uh, use your phone to just, you know, scout, but just don't do it while driving at least. Um but yeah, so this chart this chart icon you click on, you want to see the chart, see where the market is moving, and uh, you know, kinda of do your analysis from there. I have it set up to where the blue candle means, you know, that market is going upwards and that the red candle is going downwards. And so in our next class, we'll actually go over, you know, how to set that up, you know. Um, one second, guys. Okay, so yeah, so in the next class, I'll go over more in detail, like how you want to set up those blue and red candles and, and you know, kind of make your own style to it. If you want red and purple candles, that's fine with you, but that's fine with me. But, um, you know, this is really like a, a conventional way of trading how people see the markets. Some, sometimes they just have black and white candles. I think when you start off, you just have black and white candles, but we'll go in more detail over that stuff uh, for the next class because we're kind of kind of short on time. Um, let's go on to this next slide. All right, cool. So if you move on to the next icon that says trade, it will take you to. I mean, this is like <laughs> this is like the best part, you know. What I'm saying it'll take you to an area where. 
you're able to see all the trades that you make. And so if you guys are just starting, um, actually, yeah, so if you guys are just starting, you probably won't see nothing. Your, your screen will probably look like the left, you know, the first image on the left side of this PowerPoint. But instead of your balance being 500, it'll probably be at zero, depending on, or actually it'll be some amount because I do believe MetaTrader 4 starts you off with something. But there, there will be no trades unless you've been playing around with it. And so if you look to the right, the second image is, you know, where, you know, let's say you start making trades. This is where, you know, you'll start to see all your trades. So these are all the trades here in the middle. And then also here at the very top middle, you can see like the total amount. You know, the, the, the total equity, like the gross of your trades. And so that means that all of these trades combined, so you have, you're down $200 on this trade, but you're up 197 here, you're up 222 here. You're up 300 here, you're up another 300 here. And so if you get on the calculator and calculate this whole, you know, amount, that'll give you 858. And so that's like the running total. Once you close out all of these trades, that $858.96 will be added to your total balance. So that's why when you, when you see balance, let's say the balance right now is at 7,600 and uh, I think that's 22. So right now your balance is at 7,622, 7, but this equity, call, this equity row is showing 8,481. That's showing the amount that you would have in your account if you were to close out all of these trades right now. And so, you know, you really want to, you know, you know, you really want to pay attention mainly to, you know, your margins because that tells you how much money that you have left to borrow from your broker. And so, I'll go over, um, I'll go over leverage, which is I think something I should have went over at the beginning, but for sure would you know talk to you guys about leverage and how that works and how to, you know, use that to your advantage because it could be a disadvantage at times. Actually, I, I mean, I would, I would, my personal preference, I wouldn't get too big on leverage, but we'll talk about that later on. Um, so, yeah, so that's your, your equity. Your equity is like how much money you will have if you were to close out all your trades and just add this, you know, add this uh, running total to your to your balance. So now you have your margin, which is you know how much money you are really borrowing. And once you know you get a margin call, guys, that's that's pretty. You know, that's pretty bad. You don't want to get a margin call because you know that means your account is pretty close to you know getting getting shut down. So we'll go over this more in detail in our next class for sure. Um, let's, let's move on. But before I move on, does anybody have any questions so far? Okay, cool. So, so yeah, so yeah, Grant, margin, free margin. I mean, so let's. That, that has a lot to do with leverage. So let's say you're dealing with, okay, I might as well just talk about leverage right now. I feel like this is the perfect time to do so. Okay, so let's talk about leverage. Let's say you start your account with $50. Actually, let's go with $10, right? You start your account with ten dollars, and you know what? What when you when you your leverage, you want to think about pretty much your broker lending you money, lending you borrow money, pretty much. So you start off with ten dollars, and you know you you choose to go with the uh, let's say let's say you choose to go with the uh, 
with the 50 to 1 leverage. Right? From your broker. So that means that you are borrowing. All you got to do is really multiply uh, 10 times 50, which that should be, I want to say 500. So the broker is giving you, so pretty much you have $500 in your account if you have a 50 to 1 leverage, right? And and so although you only put, although you only put $10 in your account, you know, that now amounts to $500, right? So now your loss sizes can be a lot bigger. You, This is what allows you to, you know, you know, use a, a dollar loss size or, you know, uh, depending on your leverage, an even bigger loss size as well. So now you have $500 in your account. But here's the trick, okay? Although you can make more money if the market goes in your in your favor, you do not have any room for error because you will only the let's say so the the broker gets you five hundred dollars right but you can only lose ten dollars the moment you go into any trade so the moment you go into any trade and you lose ten dollars you know that broker will take the rest of his money he will never lose anything because that ten dollars that you have is your leverage. That's what you have to work with. And so, you know, if you if you make a spot on trade, that's good because you now have a bigger loss size that you can use for a ten dollar account, and you can profit. But you know, bear in mind that you only have ten dollars of room to work with if you're using, let's say, a dollar lot size, which can be very very dangerous. You know what I'm saying? So. Like when you think about leverage, it's like a double-edged sword, you know, like you can make money pretty fast, but you can also like, it's also there to like, it can also be there to hurt you as well. So when you look here, when you look here at the free margin, that pretty much just tells you how much money, like of how much of your own money you have left. Once this once this goes to zero, then once that free margin goes to zero, then you're done. That means you automatically get kicked out of the market. All these trades will close and you will have to talk to your broker and, you know, pretty much add more money because the rest of your money is gone. So that free margin is, is pretty important. You know, you want to look at it and see, okay, how much money do I have left? You know, how much room do I have left? And uh, go from there. But I'll, I'll definitely talk in more detail about that going into um, the next session. All right. So if you guys go to the the next icon, which says history, um, you'll you'll see. You know, this is where you'll be able to see like the history of all the trades you made in one day. And if you look up, you can see where it says week, month, and even custom. So you can either look at the trades you made in a day. You can, make, you can look at all the trades you made within the week. You can look at all the trades you made within a month. Okay. Um, it's just all depends on you. Or you can look at a trade from, you know, you can, you can go to customs and look at a trade from a certain day to the other certain day. You know, it's like if I want to look at a trade, all the trades I made from Tuesday to Thursday, I'll just do the custom search and then go from there. So <clears throat> this next image here, this next image here just shows like what I'm talking about. I wasn't able to get the, the day, week, or month part at the very top, but I believe this is the week. This is the weekly. Uh, this is the weekly uh, uh, history marker, and so this is these are all the trades I made in one week, and it'll show like the loss size. And then also show the profit or losses that I made, okay? And so if you also look at the very bottom right here where it says profit, this 
tells you the amount you made the whole week okay and so also bear in mind like as you can see right here on the very left you see these little like these small little colors you see like a green color here you'll see like a red color here as well and so you see like a red and green so this means that your take profit was hit that you know you actually hit your goal that you you know that you wanted to hit in your market and then the red means that your stop loss was hit meaning that you know the market went in another direction where you wanted to safeguard yourself and that's why you know that trade would close and so if it doesn't have those red or green markers next to it that means you manually just exited the, the trade and so that's pretty much how the history market works but does anybody have any questions so far everything making sense anybody have any questions awesome all right all right cool cool so let's let's get going um Daphne, do you have any questions so far all right awesome awesome cool cool so now if you go to the next uh if you go to the next tab which is, this will be like your settings and this is where you can switch accounts you can go from a live account to a demo account um you know this is pretty much just like you know like if you got iphone or samsung if you go to settings you know you'll be able to see like the general you know the general of, of, of your of your meditator for app be able to log out you can check your mailbox um you know what i'm saying you can even you know look at news and stuff and, and you know kind of just judge where the market is going from there and so you know it's pretty pretty straightforward you know pretty general stuff you know that we're, we're looking at here when, when we hit the settings button um, now I will show you guys how the rest works, but due to like, you know, privacy, I don't want you, you know, guys to see my password or you know, my account ID or anything like that. I mean, you guys can see the account ID, but mainly just the password, even though it's just security reasons, you know, but yeah, that's pretty much how the whole, you know, app on, on your phone works with MetaTrader 4. Um, and I'll even go into more detail later on, like in our next course. Um, but does anybody have any questions so far? Come on, guys. Can somebody ask me a question? Like, no, I'm just playing. That means I'm doing a good job. Okay. 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 So, oh, dang. Okay. So we got questions now. All right okay okay cool cool so we got two questions steve is asking have y'all set up live accounts yet so has anybody set up live accounts okay so daphne she has a live account and grant has a demo so daphne okay cool so pretty much daphne is the only one who has a, a live account and um now the next question oh yes i have a live account obviously all right so the next question is how long does a trade stay open from grant all right grant so a trade is usually it, it really just depends okay so there's a lot of different factors that can determine whether or not a trade is open okay so one if you have a certain target you want to hit in the market if that market is hit then that trade will close because you hit your market right so if i were to go back I would go back so this if you look here where this green marker is at on the side you can see a little green little highlight that means that market that that trade has hit is is gold so the gold that you place on that trade has been hit okay and so for and another way you can get close out of a trade is if you know um this is not only 420 it is supreme 
Okay, so so um another way that you can get out of the market or a trade can close is if the stop loss is hit. And so, you know, that's that's another way that the trade can close. But let's say we're not talking about the stop loss or you know the, the take profit hadn't been hit. Your uh your trade can close based on you know if you reach your margin call. So once you reach that margin call, like I was talking about earlier, like once the free margin, you know, once you no longer can borrow, that's when all trades will just close on you. You see what I'm saying? Or another way you can that can happen is if you manually close it. So if you manually close a trade, you know, you therefore you no longer need, you know, a stop loss to be hit or take profit to be hit uh, as well. You know, so you know, those two ways that I'm familiar with is that, you know, you manually close out of a trade or, um, you know, you reach your margin call and, you know, you lose all your money and, you know, pretty much, you know, down from there. So those are two ways that, you know, you can, you can get clocked out of a trade. Um, also, guys, let me show you guys a website. Let's see. I think I think this website is a very good website to look at news as well. Um, I was talking to you guys about fundamental analysis, and this kind of has something to do with it. You know, news is also considered fundamental analysis, and so. As you can see, here's all the news that is, you know, taking place. And, you know, this is very important because this can, like, affect whether or not a pair goes up or down. And so you really want to keep a... Uh, you really want to keep a close eye on, you know, certain news events because that can tell you where the market is going. And, yeah, like, you can also use another website called Forex Factory which is pretty much the same thing. They're all pretty much the same, but, uh, you know, they may have just different, different, uh, you know, just small different differences, you know, but pretty much they're all the same. And so, you know, it's very important that you pay attention to the news as well because if you're not a long-term trader, this can really affect, you know, whether or not you're making these trades or, and, and whether or not you're, you're uh, making profit. So <clears throat> now you do have different types of news. So you have news that are considered low impact. You have news that are considered medium impact. And then you have news that are also considered like very high impact. So whenever you're looking at news, you want to look for this red market, the high impact news. Cause that means that's more, more likely to impact that, that pair that you may be trading at that particular time. And so, you know, the high, the high impact news is very important. That's a, that's the news you really want to look out for and keep an eye out on because, you know, that can really move the market. That type of news can move the market as well. So, um, let's see what we can find. So, as you can see, under the impact column, you have very low, low, low. This has no impact at all. This is the medium impact news. Um, <clears throat> so, here we, here we have some high some high uh, impact news here's one right here as well but you can see the event so this event was like you know news came out on retail sales um for this particular currency the the canadian dollar or the, i'm sorry the canadian so yeah i think that's how you pronounce it actually and so that's pretty much how it works you want to look you want to look first at you know the pair that you're trading so here's the U.S. dollar right here because it has the U.S. symbol. And um, this news is talking about, you know, how the Fed's, Fed Evans speaks. And, you know, it's a low impact news and you don't really have to worry about that. So here's a big impact news. If you're trading a dollar, you want to look at this news because it's high. It's high impact. And, you know, this is the FOMC member Williams speech. So this is a high impact news. And they even give you like a date and an exact time you know, as to when you're, you know, to expect 
that news to hit. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, news is also very important. That falls on the, under uh, fundamental analysis as well. So, um, what I'm gonna do now, we're, we're gonna, for our next class, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over, um, we're gonna go over how to connect your broker to your your trading your meta trader for account but until then you guys can just practice 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 and look at mark mark markups and stuff and and you know if you guys have any questions just feel free to ask but um next week guys you guys get ready okay um this weekend i'm really gonna be you know i'm gonna start sending out quizzes on you guys so you guys gotta be be ready to make sure that you guys are on top of it um, that way, you know, I know that you guys are learning this stuff. Um, but, but yeah, so, so far, you know, so good. So far, so, so far good. So, um, however you say, I'm sorry. I just really can't get my words together right now. But does anybody have any questions? Any questions at all? all right cool cool all right guys so that marks the end of this session next week you guys get ready since we're going to get into some some actual trading analysis we're going to get into making some trades pretty excited about that um if you guys have any questions just feel free to shoot a you know a message in the group chat or a personal message i'll be more than willing to help you help you guys but uh until then i'll see you guys on monday and y'all have a blessed day a great weekend. Bye-bye, guys. Yes. You too, Grant. Anytime, Daphne. All right, Samir. Y'all have a good one. All righty, brother. I'll see you. See you, Steve. All right.